Get over here! Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Damas y caballeros, esto es el final. Welcome, everyone, to the finale of Let's Play Wakamele 2. In the last episode, we um, took care of the Proving Grounds. We completed it all with Shabe. Thank you very much, milady. And uh, now it's time to finally put this game to bed. We are here at the final gate. We're going to go in and take on Salvador. I have no idea what to expect. Um, additionally, <clears throat> as many of you suggested in the comments a couple of episodes ago, I went ahead and got the special key and unlocked the true ending of this game before coming here. So, um, I'm going to show off the bad ending after I defeat Salvador. And then we're going to go straight into the true ending, which is going to be shown off in, in this playthrough. Keep in mind, I don't know what the ending is at all. I have not looked it up before editing this episode yet. So I don't know what the bad ending looks like. I don't know what the uh, true ending looks like. So just keep that in mind. So I'm not going to know what the bad ending is going to entail until after I edit this episode. So um, that's pretty much uh, what it's going to be. Maybe I'll do some commentary um, after um, uh, during uh, while I show the bad ending. But I'm not entirely sure yet. So we'll see how that plays out. But uh, that's enough pandering. I think it's time we finally put uh, Salvador out of his misery. Let's do this. El otro mundo. Oh gosh. Oh lord. Infinite timelines, infinite possibilities, infinite dimensions. Finally, the sacred guacamole. <coughs> I have given everything for this. Now you will witness how strong a luchador can really be. <coughs> it's just some saliva getting caught in the anticipation of this moment. My body will finally be able to sustain my full power. Salvador! If you want to be the Luchador, you have to beat the Luchador! Let's do this! Avoid that. Doña Chamoya, thank you. Aha, I see now. Oh, this music is sick. Yeah, baby! Ah! 
take some time to heal. I'm gonna try and stay at full health as best I can. One down! Two down! I'm the best there is one! Pasado presente y futuro! You've gotten better, but you're still nowhere close! Now bear witness to my final form! You can't stop me! You can't even hope to hurt me! I have developed a shield that no man can break! <laughs> no man, huh? Come on and fight me! Don't be a chicken! Heh, <laughs> funny you say that, that's exactly what I'm gonna do! What? How did you break my perfect defense? Well, no matter. I prepared another perfect defense that will not be so easily overcome. I will crush you, you little bird! Ah! Unavoidable! Dimension swap! Unavoidable. Nuts. I need to get some distance. Thank you, Doña Chamoya! Nacho Libre! Huh? What? The legendary guacamole. <laughs> they begged me to give up the mask, but how could I? It was part of me. I saved them. I SAVED THEM! <coughs> <coughs> it's just the unfamiliar taste of defeat. Hey, um... Remember when I said we'd be together until the end of the world? I didn't mean it quite this literally. Oh, Chivo, that was ages ago. Becky. 
Your bone structure is still as radiant as the day I met you. Oh, please. Aren't you from the good timeline? I'm not even your wife back. <sighs> Whatever happened to... us? You... You are too busy. Me? You were obsessed with Lucha! Oh, come on, blaming it on me again? You're so stubborn! I swore that I would never fall in... Why are you such a dweeb? He... He did it! The voids are gone! Salvador. We did it, Juan. We saved the Mexiverse. Now, let's get back to your family. Sure thing. I'll create a portal for you now. Abra... Er, cabra Cadabra. One portal coming up. Um, my stuff must be frozen. Let me try turning it on and... Let me, let me try turning it off and back on again. One sec. You restored the relics. Time travel is impossible now. He's stuck? She's right. Ah, uh, I'm... I'm sorry, Juan. Wait. So Juan will be stuck in this timeline forever? Inside El Otro Mundo, you can access any timeline. But I bet it's... But I bet it's a crazy maze in there. Technically, though, El Otro Mundo ties all the timelines together. All the timelines together. All the timelines together. Look! The portal's collapsing! Juan, no! Don't go back in! You'll get lost forever! Oh, damn. I'm not from this timeline either. Inside El Otro Mundo, you can access any timeline. But I bet it's... 
but I bet it's a crazy maze in there. Technically, though, El Otro Mundo ties all the timelines together. All the timelines together. All the timelines together. Don't spend so much time looking back. You'll miss what's in front. The world looks different through a mask. Take the mask off, Juan! If you want to go home, you'll need to see clearly. Look! The portal's collapsing! Juan, no! Don't go back in! You'll get lost forever! Oh, damn. I'm not for this timeline either. Uh-oh. <laughs> a nice ending. So that was the end then. Oh, now I'm really curious about the bad ending. Does he get lost in El Otro Mundo? Oh, nuts. Well, that's it, everybody. That was Wakamele 2. And I gotta say... That ending was a lot more underwhelming than I was expecting. Not the actual good ending, like, it was really nice seeing Juan return to his family, because family's a big thing with me, but... Huh. Go figure. So... What happens to Juan if he's not in... If he doesn't take the mask off in El Otro Mundo? I mean, you guys will probably know by now, because, like, I'm going to show it off, uh... Um, I'm going to show it off, uh, before the good ending starts. But, wow. Hey, look! There's my name! <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. All in all, guys, like, Wakamele 2 was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So... And the, <laughs> and the not-so-amazing ones, too. Aw. And there's, a uh, Skeleton 1. So yeah, overall consensus of this game, like, gameplay-wise and, like, artistic-wise, this game is much better than the first one. Like, there's a lot to explore, there's plenty of secrets, uh, to be had, there's plenty of challenges to go through. 
All in all, I really like this game. Uh, and the narrative that it, uh, put forward. That being said, narrative-wise, like, as much as I do like the narrative of this, of this second game, I actually kind of like the narrative of the first game a little more, to be honest. Like, it definitely had a little more nuance, it definitely had a little more... It, it took itself a little more seriously, if I'm being honest. Um... No chickens were harmed in the production of Wakamele 2. Oh gosh, these guys definitely know that they are just a bunch of silly little silly nerds just having some fun with the game. I do appreciate that about Wakamele 2 though. Like it definitely knows what it wants to do and does it. Oh man, I had fun with this game. A lot. And I can't thank you guys enough for joining me for this one. Hey, much love to Drinkbox Studios. Like, you guys did an amazing job with this game. But yeah, I think the main thing that disappointed me the most is the fact that the final boss against Salvador actually was not that bad. I like the spirit, I like the character itself, but all in all, eh, the final boss was nothing compared to Kalaka. I'm gonna say that much right now, unfortunately. Hard difficulty is now available. You got the good ending, uh, you got the good ending, chicken man. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so that does it for this playthrough of Wakamele 2. Once again, thank you guys for joining me. This was a fun ride. Um, I might take a little bit of a break when it comes to uh, Let's Plays, like maybe about a week, particularly because I don't really have anything in the works right now, or at least like, I don't have anything else recorded right now, pre-recorded for future Let's Plays, but all I'm gonna tell you right now is that Coming up soon, Comic Foil and I will be getting back into the swing of things for the next Let's Play that's going to show up in this in this uh, channel. But until then, thank you guys very much for joining me for Wakamele 2. This has been an amazing experience. I love this game. Do I uh, would I say I like it more than Wakamele 1? Yeah, I would say so. Like, this game gave me a lot more to chew on gameplay-wise, and I do like the story. Like I said, I like the story of the first one a little more, but I definitely very much appreciated the second game a lot. Like, much shout-out to Drinkbox Studios for just giving me a couple of amazing games to experience. Both Wakamele 1 and 2 are very much worth your time if you ever want to play a spectacular Metroidvania. So on that note... Muchas gracias por acompañarme, mis amigos. Thank you for joining me, my friends. Y hasta luego. Que tenga un buen día. Until next time, have a wonderful day.